Okay, shalom, shalom, kom ya shalom. Kol halo yehawa b'ashim yahushai b'hashem rechach v'dash. Have honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. And by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to our akim akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of yehawa b'ashim yahushai to the best of their ability. Jachna and awaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying and um, basically it's going off into a comment that I got. And I'm assuming it's uh, uh, Edomite, but let's read the comment, you know, uh, going off into it, see how long it is. Or oh, this old brotherly love in the name of white Jesus, I guess, you know. But this is um, some, uh, some, I'm assuming it's a, a guy through our eyes. I went to their channel. They actually got about 8,000 followers or so. Not sure exactly what the hell they're into, but this is what he says. Hello, brother. Well, first off, we're not. <laughs> we, hey, we can kill the brother crap, man. I, says, I would like only for the best version of you and myself to come from this conversation. I'll say it again to, to concrete the thought. I would like only for the best version of you and myself to come from this conversation. If you would like racism to end, your part is to not partake to any kind of racism. Yeah. Imagine if roles were reversed. If I, if I view a video of a black and brown guy saying the same things as Jackass in the salon was saying, and, and this is a video, matter of fact, this, this video caught a, got a lot of traction too. Um, you know, I guess, you know, people are more into entertainment than actually hearing the scripture scriptures, but um, it, I just, you know, kind of copied and pasted the title as I seen it in a news story and it says white man caught on video taunting black spa owner. You know, I was going into the video, you know, how he, you know, he was there, you know, uh, the, the so-called black woman that owned the, the spot, you know, she was saying that, you know, he was, you know, he was unruly. Basically, he was going in, he was going into places and, in you know, just searching throughout the salon. He's just going indoors that saying employees only said, you know, you know, uh, he used the bathroom with the door open. Not sure if he, you know, took a dump or if he took a piss, but anyway. She was saying that it made the other, um, her, you know, her, her other customers uncomfortable. So, you know, she just basically gave, you know, gave him a refund and asked him to leave. And he, you know, went off and all this racial stuff, you know, um, basically talking about, and supposedly, I guess he was a Jehovah's Witness. Um, and he was talking about how uh, us, the so-called blacks have, you know, destroyed his life, you know, and his Christian life and all this other crap, you know. But that was the basis, basically, of the story, and I kind of went into it, and I was just, you know, just what we do. We bring out the scriptures on, on subjects like that, like we're about to do with this particular video. Okay, um, he says, if you, would like to, if you would like racism to end, your part is to not partake to any kind of racism. Hey, look, racism is not going to end. There's a fight between Esau and Jacob. And that fight has been going on since the beginning of time with Cain and Abel, so to speak. You know, there's a spiritual war that's going on. I have nothing to do with racism. And when it comes straight down to racism, you actually have to have power in a sense, you know, to, to, for this, for what he's probably thinking is racism. Because really racism is about, you know, just being about your race. See, they don't want you to just be about your race. They want you to love them too, even though they're not showing no love. You see? It says, imagine it roles were reversed. If a, if I view a video of a black and brown guy saying the same things and see what that black and brown shit, those are colors, man. Those are not nationalities. We are Hebrew Israelites from our respective tribe. And if you are saying that you are a so-called black person, then you would be from the tribe of Judah, the same tribe as our Lord is from, which the world ugly calls Jesus, but his name is Yahawashai, which means that he's the savior or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. He wasn't a white guy. And his name is not Jesus. And this is the, the, you know, that the aspect that they're coming from. You see, with that plantation Christianity. I was just watching the brother um, in Dallas. You know, he was um, very, you know, um, edifying lesson that he'd done. But, you know, he, he went into the clip of the slave Bible. You know, that slave Bible, man, that the so-called white man gave to our people, man, was complete plantation ignorance, man, to keep your ass dumbed down. And that's exactly what white Jesus Christianity teaches, man. These people have never been for you. They look at you as entertainment and entertainment only. And they still look at you that way. Okay, he says, uh, if I view a video of a black and brown guy 
saying the same things as Jackass and the Salon was saying. After viewing the black and brown man's actions, I then said, all you so-called black and brown people, as you did in your video, I will be judging an entire race. And we are judging an entire race. You're at, you're, the Lord is going to judge you as an entire race. What do you mean? We went into slavery as an entire race. You see, the Lord, he deals with nations, man. Matter of fact, let me grab a qu quick scripture. I'll come back to this um, in a sec. See, the Lord, he deals with nations. And that's what people don't understand. He sent all us Hebrew Israelites into slavery as an entire nation of people. The, the, the so-called white man as an entire nation of people benefited from us going into that captivity. Now, whether you may have physically owned a goddamn slave yourself, <laughs> that, that, that has nothing to do with it. When, when, it, when, when Daniel, let's say for instance, Daniel and all of them, you know, the, the righteous, they, they were righteous. They would, they didn't do anything wrong, you know, from the, from that, from the aspect of, you know, it was the rest of the nation going off, but as a nation of people, they all went into captivity. All the prophets weren't wicked. They was prophesying the downfall and, and telling the people, hey, look, y'all don't get it together. This is what the Lord has said is going to happen. You're going to send y'all asses into slavery. So he sent this as a nation. But let's go into. Um, going to Job 30. What is it? Uh, I'm going to say Job 34. 29. So lock. No, they, they, you're going to get it. You're going all your race is going to get it. Get the business, man. There's no way around it. Yeah, Job 34 and 29. When he giveth quietness, and this is talking about the Lord, Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father, which means that he exists where he is to be in Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him, whether it be done against a nation or against a man only? See, the Lord, he deals with nations of people, man. He brings nations up. He tears nations down. He deals with the individual men of those nations. But as a nation, hey, you go up into Psalms 83, it tells you about all the nations that came up against the Israelites to basically put their name out of the earth. And they still have us in captivity to this very day. You're not going to tell me we're not captives, man. And then you got some of these, these, these simple ass Negroes. Oh, we ain't slaves no more. Well, we'll try and lead this country without the white man's credentials. Always bring that up. Can you just leave America? Oh, well, everybody got to show some. No, you you got to show some ID because the white so-called white man said your ass have to. You don't have a nation where you have a border and you're checking passports and shit. You're stuck in all the nations where the Lord enslaved us, sent us into slavery um, at, man. Well, let's go back into the comment. A long ass paragraph. We'll get all get all of it, though. It says, after viewing the black and brown man's actions, I then said, all you so-called black and brown people, as you did in your video, because I said, yeah, all you so-called uh, uh, white people, and we call them so-called because they're actually pinkish to reddish in color. They're not fucking white. That lie has been told forever, as if they're so damn pure and innocent. Get the hell out of here. They're pinkish to reddish in color, man. It says, I will be judging an entire race over the actions of one, rightfully so. You would call me, and, and I admittedly would be a racist. That atrocity in the video is not a white man. He's a product of a... No, he's not a white man. He's, he's a damn Edomite. That's your biblical nationality. You so-called white people, your biblical nationality is your, your, your Esau. You come from Esau. You're, you're Edomites, man. You're not white. No such thing as white people. White is not a damn nationality, man. It says that atrocity in the video is not a white man. He's a product of societal brainwashing that the powers that be force upon all of us. Yeah, right. Just a zombie. No, hey, this is your kingdom, man. Y'all set this shit up. This is y'all thing that y'all got going on, man. Don't let them get to you. They want all of us, you and I included, to be racist. No, they, they, hey, they're not getting to me. I understand the scriptures. The scriptures talks about um, um, these, this, this battle between races, man. Esau Edom is this is his kingdom right now. He's running things right now. And I also um I replied to the to, replied to the guy. I said, um, you know, Yahweh is racist. He only chose the Israelites. Short answer. Yeah, that's racist enough right there. I, I put in Deuteronomy 76, 
where thou art in holy people unto the Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Hey, look, the Lord made that separation. I, I had nothing to do with it. You see? We are that special people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are Hebrew Israelites. That's who you are. That's what you were being called before these so-called white people came and, 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 and enslaved your ass all over the, all over the globe. And gave you all these, these bullshit bywords. But that goes into Deuteronomy chapter 28, a part of the curses that they will be calling us everything except for an Israelite. Negroes go for everything except for Israelites. They want to be, they black, African American. Now they, now you got them gendered. Now they just call themselves after a, a them and they, babies, <laughs> all kinds of crap now. I said, um, whites have treated us like shit for centuries. May not be you individually, but as a race of people, you you still enslaved and own us. In which they do. We're still in captivity to this very day. You're not free. You may be free enough to jump in your car and go to McDonald's or some shit. Or you can drive over to Big Mama House. Or you can drive across the 50 states. But in reality, your ass still got a target out on your ass no matter where you go because of them curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28. And see, these, these so-called white people, they have a time period to run, and their time is almost up. That's why you're st starting to see all this wickedness, you know, um, moving so fast in the earth and all this shit they pushing, man. They got a turn up, so they, 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 they trying to go into their global reset right now. Because they know full well that they don't have long before our Lord comes back, man. Let me get that back of what I said. I said whites have treated us like shit for centuries. May not be you individually, but as a race of people, you still enslave and enslave and own us. The good news of the gospel is that there's going to be a role reversal. This is your kingdom now. Enjoy because you won't enjoy our kingdom. And, that, and, and they're not. They go. They ass is going in a, a hardcore, rigorous slavery, man. You see. Let's go to Revelation 13. And get with all that, we together. No, nah, hell no. Nah. Your own people are fucking you over. You just a two-time loser. Your own people messing you over. And and y'all, you so-called white people, you're so that you're so damn silly. You don't see that you're. And they get to talking that government. It's the government. No, your people running the government. The government. The government is against us. The government. Government. No, what you don't realize, these are your people. See, so-called blacks, we don't have no say in none of that shit. You guys created your Declaration of Independence, your, 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 your Bill of Rights and all that. You stole this place and set it up all in the name of white Jesus and, 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 and still have us in captivity. You have to pay for that, man. Revelation 13, I'm going to start at verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You see that? It says you shall go into captivity. You guys are going into captivity along with the rest of these other heathen nations, because they all took part in our downfall, man. Yeah, they licked the wounds, man. You talking about, come on, man. No, you got to pay. You got to pay. It's, it's that simple. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So the saints are patiently waiting. This, this is what we're waiting on. We're patiently waiting for this to happen. This is the last book of the Bible. If everybody is supposedly be saved, why is this talking about captivity right here? Why is this talking about somebody being killed with the sword? See, they teach white Jesus that he's coming back to hug the little nigger baby. He loves everybody. They're not teaching the real trueness of the scriptures, man. The Lord is coming back to kill people <laughs> straight up and to take over this entire globe, this whole system, man. All you goddamn kings, you prime ministers, you 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 damn spec you damn Edomites, man. Y'all y'all definitely and your top elite, you're definitely going straight into slavery. <laughs> Can't wait, man. That's why this scripture is saying, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. We're patiently waiting on that. We're not out here doing nothing physical. And that goes for these silly ass Israelites out here with guns on, man. Bringing sticks to camp. You dumbass. Anyway, I guess that's your lot, but that's going to bring a bad image on you, man, and all of us as well. But, I mean, we get it. There's a time where they're going to come 
and basically kicking in the doors, man. And you know who that's going to be? You so-called white people. The scripture says, never trust thine enemy. All of a sudden, I'm supposed to just, oh, yeah, you're right, buddy. No, my God, I understand. <laughs> the Lord and showed us in the scriptures that we have enemies. That's one of our, our people's biggest problems. That's why they'll give you some shit like Juneteenth, Black History Month. They'll throw you a little bone, calm them niggas down. We don't need them to know that we're enemies. These people are our enemies, man. The Lord called them our enemies. He said he was going to send us into slavery to our enemies. And going to put it there. They sold us. Man, look, man. You so-called white people have done some very treacherous things to us as a people, man. And you're going to get that shit back. And, and it's not our words. It's the Lord's words. This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. See, now I just went off into um, the Lord dealing with nations and men. So, so this man Esau, Edom, his seed have, have raped, robbed, and pillaged us forever. And, and, and just now all of a sudden, we should just get all along. We should just, you know, just believe in sweet white baby Jesus. You know, um, what's with all the racism? Hell out of here. Well, because it's shooting up supermarkets and doing all kinds of crazy shit to us, man. Still to this very day. Like straight up, man. So we getting a, a we getting down to the boogie. We getting to a point of this thing is about to be reversed on y'all. It's about to be reversed on y'all. And you know that that you know that that's 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 pretty scary to these these so-called white people, man. Now they may see us out on the streets and, and teaching. It may be like, oh, that's some bullshit. The Lord, he loves everyone. But back in the, deep in the back part of their mind, they're probably like, well, if this shit is true, we're done. And them scriptures be cutting their asses all up. And you can tell the guy, you know, he, he got offended by, by, by the script. But hey, the scriptures is the scriptures, man. He, gonna, he, <laughs> he says, don't let them get to you. They want all of us, you and I included, to be racist. No, you motherfuckers are the racist, man. You're about your people. You're so about your people to the point where you sending billions of dollars to Ukraine for the sake of people that look like you. In the meanwhile, you're all fucked over in your own country. And then they had all those reports of, well, look at the racial disparities between how the U.S. is helping the Ukrainians, but won't help out, um, you know, uh, so-called people of color. That was all over the news. They was putting you on, putting you on full damn blast as being the damn wicked. See, you're about your own race. But when we get to talking about our own race, it, it becomes a problem. We we should all just be together. We should just all just be together and just all just get along. All of a sudden, get the hell out of here, man. And like I said, again, this video caused some traction. Let's see. Oh, yeah, see? My videos only normally get about four, five, six, seven views at best. You know, sometimes maybe 10 to 15 at best. This particular video got 747 views. And I posted it on my other two channels, which had hundreds of views. So w these are hot topics, man. And like I said, again, generally, people just want to be entertained and shit. You know what I'm saying? And they're not really listening to the scriptures like that. Like one person um, commented, oh, I don't want to hear that. Just show the video. Hey, all right. Well, shit, go Google the video. You can look that shit up on your own. Do, do, your, th do your thing. But it, it caused some traction. Like I said, again, normally my videos, I'm only at best, man. I'm I, If I get 10, 10 views... I don't know if they shadow banning or whatever they're doing. It don't make no difference. We just do the lessons, man. It's not about no um, subscribers, no likes, none of that. We do the lessons. The Lord is going to send who needs to hear the lessons. And that's that. Because man's going up. Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. But you know what? Out of these 747 people, some people got judged and some people got tagged. And, and, and possibly somebody actually woke up like, you know what? That guy aged. That's the truth right there. That's the real scriptures right there. That makes sense. That resonates with my spirit. And it's not a color thing, neither. It's not a color thing. It's not a, a white and black. You see, the so-called white man, they use colors 
as nationalities and as you know these power moves and all this other stuff to just take over damn people you know with these damn colors it's not about colors it's all about abraham isaac and jacob the seed whoever your father is that's where your seed comes from that's what you are it's not a color thing man the hebrew israelites are all shades of colors and look like all races of people because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and these Christian churches are weak and whack as hell. They don't get into nothing like that. All they telling you is, is sweet white baby Jesus, he loves you. Well, we know that the gas is getting more high, but you got to keep on tithing because the Lord, he's going to give you a hundred fold and you'll be able to afford more gas. Man, get the hell out of here. You, you, you better off keeping your money in your pocket, man. Matter of fact, don't even blow the gas, even driving the church. Because these Christians, these pastors ain't teaching you shit. You come in with that pseudoscience white Jesus crap, man. If you believe in, in white Jesus in 2022, man, you are seriously lost. Just straight up, man. You ought to be a damn shame to yourself. You ought to come on, man. <laughs> like straight up. Like I said again, hey, this this is what you get from these people. And I like I said, I went to his channel. Let's see. I'm gonna go to it. It says uh he joined eight years ago. Yeah, he got almost eight thousand. Um and, and and looks as if he's that's the only comment he's ever left on a page. He only has one comment on this page, man. Through our eyes. Oh, you want me to see through your eyes? I'm going to give a man you, man. Get the hell out of here. And this might be him. Oh, yeah, this got to be him. He looking crazy as hell. He looked like somebody that uh, looked like he got, let me see, he got looked like he got some dreadlocks right here. Let's see. Let's lock you for the commercial. Let's see here, though. Let me skip that. Hey, guys. Hope you hope setting your eyes. Today, we're going to talk about Ryobi. Okay. That's a lock. I'm trying to get no, no damn copyright hookup. And that video was from two years ago. But anyway, you can see what he looks like. You know, he got the dress right there. It looks like one of them. I guess this this particular one where he he, he appears to done cut them bitches off. Hey guys, welcome to Homestead with our eyes. We're out here sweating today. And uh, see, he could be he could be a Jake. You never can tell. Like I said, hey, our people come in all different shades. We look like Edomites. We look like Moabites. We look like. Ammonites, we look like all the, the nations of people because we've been scattered through the four corners of the earth. But all this, all this, everybody just going to get along. No, that shit not working, man. The Lord didn't even design it that way. He didn't design. We have different spirits, man. Our spirits are going to bounce off each other, man. We're, we're not going to get along. Now, do, the scriptures do say if it's at all possible, be at peace with all men. So that means that hey, we not. Hey, we just preach the Bible. We're not going out. That's what I was saying about these guys with these guns at camps and shit. Look, man, we're not out here to appear to be no threat to nobody. We're just out. The, the scriptures is going to handle everything. That's that's the, the, the best weapon you can have, man. That sword, that sword cut their ass up, man. Let them leak out from the, from the, from the scriptures, man. Oh, this I want to give. We should all just get along, guys. We, we, you know, Jesus loves us all. He wants us all. And, and you know, he, he appears he could be one of those, you know, one of them white boys that, you know, grew up around a few niggas like rap music and all that. Man, that shit not gonna make no difference. It's not gonna make any difference whatsoever, man. When it comes to the kingdom, you're going into slavery, and 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 after that slavery of a thousand years, your your asses is done, man. That's just straight up. And I'll grab one more because you'll have these people that say, well, I had nothing to do with slavery. And, you know, I know it was fucked up and it was wrong. But I didn't own slaves. Yeah, all right. We're still in the hands of you, you, you damn devils, man. And now that we bringing it out, you, you know, they, 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 that truth. Be, hey, the last thing the so-called white man wants is truth. The motherfuckers, they, 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 <laughs> they can't handle no truth, man. They can't handle no truth. We get the slyly smiling, looking like the damn devil. 
And they get upset when you're not going with, with their flow, man. Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for its children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. This is what's coming to you, man. And to you ones that's up, uh, I had nothing to do with it, but you benefiting off of that shit to this very day. You still, you so-called white people, you're benefiting from slavery right to this very day. You've never paid us. You, you, you won't even acknowledge um, um, reparations. They talk all that to your boy Joe Biden. Them, you know, that people was, uh, well, you know, he was talking about a little shit. Uh, yeah, we, you know, we're, we're, we're thinking of some things we could, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once you voted his ass in, all of a sudden, he, you ain't heard nothing about, but he got money to send to Ukraine. He got plenty of fucking money to send to Ukraine. And then want to offer you a possible uh, 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 college degree or some shit. Like, I don't want to go to your, your, your fucking, your white school to, to be indoctrinated with a bunch of uh, pseudoscience bullshit. No, just give me my paper. If that was the case, I'll take the paper over, over your, um, your, your damn education. Your education is a bunch of damn lies. That's not going to help me at all. You know what? I'm going to go to one of your colleges and learn some shit that's not, I can't even get a job at. Nah, bro, give me the money. If I had a choice, but we don't want no no um, no reparations from you guys. We the, the reparations is that Revelations thirteen and ten. <laughs> he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's gonna be our reparations. We're gonna get every damn thing back anyway, and some. All our gold, all our precious stones, all that so-called white people just sitting on all our shit. Sitting on all the wealth of the world and, and, and just want to keep you Negroes in sin with white Jesus, man. You got to wake up, man, out here, man. It's lock you for the language, man. It kind of gets you a little hot. Hello, brother. You know, in this long ass paragraph. Don't let them get to you. No, they ain't getting to me. <laughs> they want us all. They want all of us. You and I included to be racist. Get the hell out of here. Like, I'm supposed to listen to this. And, and, and this is what he said. He said, hello, brother. I would like only for the best version of you and myself to come from this conversation. I'll say it again to concrete the thought. I would like only for the best version of you and myself to come from this conversation. Hey, look, man, I, I don't need the best coming from me is 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 your how about shimmy i was shy waking me up to this truth man you 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 hey you, nah we not being rocked back to sleep over here buddy you so-called black hispanics and native americans man y'all better wake y'all asses up and realize that you have real enemies these people don't like you they're never going to like you straight up the conditions that we're in in these countries that, that we're that where we've been scattered to is is horrible, man. They promote all kinds of bullshit on us. Bullshit ass rap music, killer nigga, killer nigga, take his hoe, take his hoe. <laughs> Bunch of bullshit fucking movies. Every movie you see with niggas in it, it's a it's a gangster movie. You don't see no love movies. Bunch of bullshit food. You I mean, you are not about to go to uh, uh Esau's neighborhoods. And see no bunch of damn McDonald's or damn liquor store, McDonald's, liquor store, Burger King, liquor store, Wendy's, liquor store, KFC, liquor store, church on every damn corner with white Jesus. In and in the neighborhood is fucking terrible, man. Horrible. Here you go. You got a goddamn church on every corner in, in, in the cities of these of you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. But the conditions around you is terrible. We're, we're, that 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 should be proof in itself that white Jesus is not doing not one thing for you, man. Straight up, man. So I just wanted to just, just, just touch on this, man. Hey, you know, so like you for the rent. But hey, we got to bring out these scriptures and let our people know the truth, man. The truth is coming out. See, that truth is tearing their asses up. That truth, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> but the Lord is about to do a number on a lot of our people, man, that don't want to listen. And he's going to use this so-called white man 
that you feel as if all of them are not bad. Okay. All right. You're going you're gonna to see when the turn up turns up uh, uh, how they're going to get down on your ass, man. So repent to the father in the name of his son. Repent to the father, Yahweh, which means that he exists or he is to be in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the savior of delivering paleo Hebrew, man. The Lord is not some white guy. The scriptures clearly describes him as being a dark, melanated man with woolly hair, deep voice. And he was an austere man, rough, rigid, you know? You know, he wasn't some soft-spoken, blonde-haired, blue-eyed, white guy that loves every goddamn thing, man. The Lord is some telling you, you're dealing with the Lord. When the Lord comes back, man, he's not coming back to, to pick up your little babies in his arms, man. You get to talking about all, how, how cute. Nah, man. People going to be in for a rude awakening when they see everything that they've ever been taught about the Bible is not true. So with that, hey, repent, man. With that, come here, Charlotte.